Right, the first thing I'm looking at is how how the, the figures are sort of warm. So I'm thinking right from the off, let's just sort of get the general sort of feel. And then what I'm, I'm going to do is sort of look for the sort of the composition. So I'm looking at what, how do they relate? She, what is she to him? What I'm doing is I'm sort of learning how how this is going to be. I mean, a lot of this is going to be about the tone of the glass because there is a story of you know him sort of saying, well, yeah, what he thinks about the wine. So yeah, that's sort of so we're looking at that. I tend to use a medium a fair bit at this stage because um, because it does tend to sort of help um, just to sort of make the paint flow. And then I've got to have the tone to show this glass off, so looking at how that comes in. So here, taking that through with the new position of that, moving that over that he, he is basically that plane and movement into there so that's the same as I was showing you with the watercolour really how you know just connecting that in to this now we'll take the same and I can use that into here because that colour is repeated into there taking that with a little bit of the the complementary just now starting to sort of feel how this is so I'm looking at her shape there into that looking for how that now comes through to here so we're, we're playing this light on the tablecloth you know a lot uh, refining that looking at his almost sort of you know chisel sort of features there back to the hand which has got to be fairly dark and then the hand there looking at that looking at her and what's important is that that sort of narrative of her looking down and saying you know something about the wine or waiting for him to comment now we'll introduce possibly a little bit of not so stark but maybe uh, a little bit of the colors we've used but introducing the um, cobalt. Uh, I could have gone ceruleum, but I think actually it might be more just working really with the sort of middles here. Just trying to get that, I'm looking for where the breast is there. Possibly a little lower. And then we're looking for that negative. It would be good to introduce that again so that it it's not isolated and possibly into there somewhere and then looking for how those shapes are coming more introduction of blue to emphasize this into there into here and then we're just working through that shape so that the the darks are lean rather than fat because uh, there's nothing worse than where you get really sort of shiny um, you know lights uh, darks there's, there's a good sort of feeling of that tone moving that up into there right now coming across playing in the chair using that near brown into the now oddly enough that colour although it's a photographic effect is actually echoed in there so I'm taking that and I'm going to now deviate that a little with a tiny bit more purple and uh, I'm just going to sort of try now to sort of connect the eye so it goes to the back of her head there rather than as it is now we take the the purple which is the complementary of the brown so I'm using that into here right there's the hand coming in so looking for that 
and then a little bit just to sort of bring in where the uh, stomach is. And then we're looking for the chair, so we bring that in. So we, we are sort of pulling that shape out. Here I'm going to reflect that into the um, into the shadow, and then we just soften that down so that that actually gives a little tiny bit of tone. Uh, again, thinking of how this is. Right now, back to the hand. Now, as I'm going back in the picture plane and into that shadow, I'm, I'm mixing this. I, I do want that, so I'm sort of uh, making my tone gradually sort of come a little more. Okay, looking at that shape there. Might just slightly make a little less of her hair piled up on top. Basically this is how I'd work if I'm working in oils.